folks, DF Digger back. Um, I'm back down in the pretty much middle of the pond area that I call the pond area. This is where I found um, that car in uh, my last bell there. And I did just come across this little piece. Interesting enough, I'm thinking it might have been some um, part of faux jewelry. Um, these little places here would hold some maybe like stones, right, you know, fake stones and stuff. That's what I'm going with right at this point. I haven't found anything else with it, um, so, yeah, we'll get it in the bag carefully. I'll get some pics of it later. I don't think there's really going to be much to tell about it, but, all right, I'm going to hunt around in this area, and uh, we'll see what else we find. All right, folks, well, it's been pretty quiet coming down through here. Um, you know, like I said, it's been places I've hunted many times, so, you know, I'm cleaning up a little bit here and there, but, uh, let me see if I can scoot over here a little bit. Yeah, I know spotted this little thing laying right here that's definitely not gold because it's uh corroded but it's a cool little bracelet though or chain of some sort yeah I'll throw it in the bag yeah we're gonna jump back in the water here I'm just taking a quick peek here see if there's anything i hadn't seen before all right catch you on the next one Hey folks, yeah, I just spotted something here, and I'm not sure it could be plastic. Could be glass. No, oh, it is just plastic. It's just a handle. It's kind of hoping for a bottle stopper. All right, yeah, it looks like we're into the junk this time. Um, you know, good line, bad line. You know, you make a choice when you get in the water and hope for the best. <laughs> All right, well, uh, get, get back at it. All right, folks. Yeah, I found some more of this uh, piece here. Um, over the last two, three years, I've found a bunch of this same piece. Um, Ezra has too, so I don't know. Maybe between all the pieces we found, we got the whole thing. But yeah, this is uh, part of that um, same fancy thing I found last week or the last video there. So yeah, we'll continue on. See if we can find any anything else on it. All right, folks, yeah, it's been pretty slow. Uh, and I picked up, uh, you know, a few little pieces of stuff. Um, one of those pewter uh, bottle tops. And just did uh, find this uh, compact, though. Pretty good condition. I'll try to see if I can get it open later on. See if there's any coins inside. Well, we might be able to check that right now. What is that? Yeah, pop that out if I can. Yeah, I think that's just the pad <laughs> um, for makeup. It's soft, so I know it's not a coin. <laughs> All right, well, oh, and then there should be a mirror right there. Oh, yeah, it's all broken up. All right, well, I think we can get a name off that a little later, so get it in the bag, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Hey, folks, DF Digger here. Um, yeah, beautiful Saturday morning. We got the Whoopie Pie Festival going on in town, but this is my uh, little festival down here. Water's down below two feet, and uh, you guys might be able to see down through there a little bit. I don't know. Let me throw my glasses up there. See if that you can see any difference in there. I know it's hard to tell from up here, but once you get them on your face, there they uh, they work pretty well. All right, um, yeah, we're down pretty low, so I'm going to go back down here where I found the bell in that car. There's a you know little pond area down there, and uh, let's see what we can pull out. All right, conditions look favorable. Let's go get it. All right, folks, yeah, got my first find here, which is a surface find. I love these. Yeah, it looks like it might be a brand new uh, little fishing lure. Let's go down and grab her. nice old lure brand spanking new yeah that right there probably cost about five six bucks yeah all right you get it in the bag that might be a nice one for one of those uh, fish plaques that i do again all right cool cool on to the next all right folks yeah, i kind of walked down to the next set of rapids and came back up the side here now this is the general area where i found that um silver uh, all applied uh shoe buckle 
Well, I've got another signal down here, and it's ringing up somewhat okay. It almost looks like it could be a buckle of some sort. Um, it's laying right there on the surface. So, uh, yeah, I figured I'll uh, take it down, and uh, we'll go get it together. Here we go. It is thin, whatever it is. Almost has a sheen of uh, silver on it, doesn't it? Huh. Eh, not exactly sure. We'll get it in the finds box there, just in case it is silver, but geez. Yeah, I can't tell if that's just river scum. It's very thin, though. All right, we'll get it in the bag, and uh, we'll keep heading on. Hey folks, yeah, this is my next find here. I'm not sure if it's a lipstick tube or something else. I, I can't read what's on there. I might say something about lips, but yeah, it's a pretty cool little uh, tube. And it's heavy, it's all metal, so uh, yeah, we'll check it later on when we get to the house and uh, yeah, see if there's anything in it. All right, on to the next. All right, folks, yeah, next find here, I got this uh, pretty neat um, old uh, iron buckle. Yeah, I'll probably let this bake out in the sun and then just tap this stuff off here later on, but yeah, we'll get some pictures of it later. All right, cool, cool. Let's keep going. All right, folks, yeah, I just found this little piece here. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but um, it might have been a knife or something, but it does have some does have some writing on it. Yeah, I bet you that's what it was, was a, a pocket knife. Oh, we got some writing on it, so we should be able to find it out. Part of the scale's missing on this side here. And, of course, the blade inside's all rusted, but... All right, cool, cool. We'll get back at it. I'm going to take lunch here in just a minute on one of these rocks, and then, uh, then we'll get back at it. All right. Hey folks, yeah, I'm back a few days later here. I'm back down in the pond area again. Uh, I'm starting to think I got most of it out of here. <laughs> it's been pretty quiet the last few days, but um, yeah, I was just walking through this ledges here, which I call kind of like a gold sluice. Um, in a sense, it captures a lot of stuff. I bet might be able to see a little bottle stuck down in there. I tried wiggling it a little bit and it was uh, pretty tight. So we'll go down together and see if we can get it out uh, and maybe it's whole. All right, here we go. That's a nice little bottle. Still has a cork in it too. Alright, cool, cool. I'm happy with that. Not happy enough to go home, but uh, yeah, we're gonna hunt around a little longer and see what else we pull out. Alright, on to the next. Alright folks, yeah, we got a little bit of spoonage. Yeah, we're stuck down underneath a couple of rocks here into that sand stuck in between these ledges here. So yeah, what I'm basically doing is just going, you know, threading my way through here and just trying to cover as much as I can. All right, on to the next. All right, folks, yeah, this is my next find here. Um, I think it might be brass. I almost want to say it could possibly be an ox knob. It is threaded on the inside, if you guys can see that. Uh, but I've never seen any squared off like this before. Um, I don't know. I'll throw it on ID me, see if anybody else can figure it out. But, all right, cool, cool. On to the next. Alrighty folks, yeah, I'm back down here at the pond again, um, and as you can see, it's starting to go down pretty nicely. Um, that rain we had yesterday really didn't do much for us, and we're not supposed to get any more until Saturday. But up here, just above this island, I had a big signal up there, and deep. I had dug down at least a foot so far. Um, I usually have a, a rule, <laughs> a five minute rule. If I'm digging more than five minutes, I let it go, I go on to another target. But that one's got me curious, so I'm going to go back up there and I'll put another five minutes in on it and see what we can pull out. It was ringing up in the low 90s, so I'm thinking maybe brass or something like that. But we'll go see if we can find it. And whether or not it's good or bad, I'll let you know. All right, folks, yeah, that big hole that I tried digging, um, I still need to let this go down a little bit lower to try to get down to it. But, I mean, it's a screaming 91 solid. <laughs> but it's got to be down there. I've already gone deeper than a foot. So, I don't know. We'll get to it, you know, one of these other days. But 
decided to come through here and hunt these ledges like I've done uh, quite a few times. Richie and I have been both over here and uh, yeah, I just pulled this out of here. It was tucked down into these ledges under some rocks, but you guys probably be able to see what it is. Got ourselves a cool little hem weight. All right, yeah, I pulled a few of these out of here, um, but it's just nice to know that I didn't get everything. All right, we're gonna keep hunting on for a little bit, see what else we can pull out. All right, folks, yeah, I'm just picking up a bunch of scrap metal here, but I did find a piece of scrap. That looked like it might have had some fancy on it at one point. Yeah, no idea what it would ever been, but uh, maybe there might be something. I almost want to say I might see something there. It might just be corrosion. But, yeah, that's how the river does it. It's too bad. All right, we're going to keep moving along, and uh, we'll see if we pull anything else out. Hey, folks, DF Digger here. Uh, beautiful uh, uh, October morning here. Sun's out, not too bad. I'm gonna be working down this way into the uh, oh sun a little bit in a little bit. Um, but I did just come across this piece here, and I'm not exactly sure what it is. And you could probably see those teeth on there. Um, I'm not sure if there's any other fancy or anything on that at all, but it might be. Um, yeah, this is really about the first good find I've had in this field. I've been up here once. And only once, and I've uh, found uh, a couple of lead bullets and a bullet casing. But as you can see, it's a good sized field, and it goes way down behind on that bank. So, yeah, we'll give this a whirl. I figured I'd start here at the road. If I've got permission for this, then I can probably grid this back and forth over time. But, all right, I'm going to hit some more and uh, see what else we get. All right, folks, I've been at it for a while here, and I haven't found a whole lot. But I'm working my way closer to the wood line here, and I just came across this spoon or fork handle. Um, might have been monogrammed up there, I'm not sure. But well, looks like she might have some age on it. Uh, might have been as, yeah, I don't know. It's neck down pretty close there. This probably is pewter. All right, well, I'll get it cleaned up a little later on. Awesome little relic. At least I know there's stuff in this field. Gives me a little hope. All right. On to the next. You know, folks, yeah, this is a parasol uh, slide. And uh, well, it just gives me more confidence that there were people out here and stuff has been out through here. But like I said, it's a big area. So I'm going to keep working on, see if we pull anything else out. All right, on to the next. All right, folks. Yeah, I just pulled this out of that pile. It was down there quite deep. You can see it's pretty thin. And I am not sure if that is a coin. I do not feel any type of a where a shank would be. And I almost want to say I see something on there. Could just be how it's bent up and stuff. But I don't know. Small, yeah, it's probably a little smaller than a dime. All right. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, it might be something. All right, I'm going to keep working down through here. See what else we get. Alright all, yeah, I just found this little piece here. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what it is. I believe this is a old, uh, either a shoe heel. Because this little strip right in the middle here, that's metal. And then it looks like there's leather on both sides. But yeah, looks like you could see the little holes where they would have punched it in. A small heel to be out here. Probably a kid's or something. Alright, uh, seems like I've been hitting uh, this little spot right in here might do something, so... I'm going to putt around here for a little bit longer. All right, folks. Yeah, you could imagine this was ringing up pretty nice. Uh, I'm not sure if that might have been some sort of a, a buckle or maybe a rosette, possibly. You can see where there was a, something here. I don't know if these went straight out, maybe into leather adornment, or um, if there would have been a bar that would have gone across there. Yeah, if anybody has an idea, throw it in the comments, please. It does feel like it's brass. It was ringing up brass, so... All right, gonna head on. Well, folks, uh, there, this little spot right here seems to have to have been uh, a little bit of activity in it. Just came across this little pocket knife. The scales are pretty much gone. But well, you can tell it was. Uh, That's a neat little piece. I'll throw it up on my uh, little collector's board with it, with the rest. But... 
Yeah, and I did find a little piece of a brick um, in the last hole I was in. So maybe there used to be a house that set in here someplace. So I haven't seen any pottery or anything like that. Um, and only one brick piece so far. So I'm going to keep looking around. Um, if there was one, we'll find it. All right, folks. Well, I think I might have come across something kind of neat. I believe we have ourselves here a ring. It's pretty well smushed up. Looked like there might have been a stone or something in there, and I'm kind of looking around. I'll look through this little pile, see if there's anything odd looking, I guess. But, yeah, uh, definitely worthwhile then. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll get that back to the house here, and we'll do a little cleaning on it. All right, on to the next. All right, um, this here is my first confirmed coin out of this field. Uh, that other little one there up there, I don't know what that would have been, but this here, I can definitely see the wreath or the headband there for an Indian head. Oh, cool deal. Now we'll get that home, see if we can get a date off in it. All right, going to keep hunting around. All right, I've got a nice little signal right here. And it looks like we might have ourselves a little jingle bell. Yes, uh, yeah, it's a little bent up, but that's not a problem. All right, cool. I love knowing that there's relics in this uh, whole field. Like I said, it's a big field. So, <laughs> and uh, so far I've only gone down that way and come back. Um, so, yeah, should be a good, uh, you know, few years on trying to get this thing all cleaned up. I can't wait till they get up here and, um, Oh, plow it under there um, in the spring. That's going to be nice. All right. Catch you on the next one if there is one.